My name is Maria Verzilli. Welcome to my Italian kitchen, and we are making a ricotta for you today. And here we go. We're going to start to make a ricotta. First of all, we'll check if the pot, number one, should be clean and still and still. It's already sizzled, so I am ready to put a milk. This milk, it's 2%. You can make with the regular milk and also with the buttermilk. It's the only two milk that you need. What do we do right now? We mixed, we measure because I only need two cups and will be very good idea to shake the bottle like I'm doing because it's the better way to go. I'm gonna measure two cups of buttermilk, which it will make you half a gallon, and two cups of buttermilk will make you a pound and two ounces of ricotta. At this point, we have wooden spoon, and we'll turn and mix the ricotta, and we give the heat, because it's time to do that. And we let it rest for about 20 minutes. The ricotta will come all by himself to, to form. And we do not touch anymore. If I take my spoon away, we do not. We do not mix again. This is it. The ricotta is done because it came up to the surface very, very gentle. I will transfer the ricotta to the colino. This is the product It's finished. It's beautiful. It smells very good. What do we do with the ricotta? Many, many things. One of them, we do scripelle. A a dish from Abruzzi. We will roll, which my daughter's doing. It's the, f the finished product, but it's not cooked yet. It should be cooked for about 20 minutes because the dough is already cooked. So we only need to cook is the ricotta inside with mozzarella and all other good things. Then we put the sauce, the sauce on top. It's a little bit of cheese, and that goes with a little bit of uh, parmigiano and a little parsley. This will go to the oven for 20 minutes. Your dinner will be ready. Thank you for joining me on my Italian kitchen. And join us at the festival in the Cultural Theater where you two can learn how to make regatta and Pitzels by Kathy Day.